Hi, or should I say hyena? I'm Katie Williams, a PhD student from Durham University in the UK, and this is a brown hyena, an elusive carnivore from Southern Africa. The thing with hyenas is, people don't tend to like them very much. You've seen The Lion King, right? There were some pretty nasty creatures in there. And in African folk tales, dance and music, the hyena is often portrayed as the villain. Hyenas are even associated with witchcraft. And the problem is that people take these negative perceptions and apply them to the way they interact with hyenas. So for example, at my field site in South Africa, people believe that the brown hyena is killing livestock, and as a result, they are deliberately killing hyenas back. So let's head to South Africa, see what it's all about. So here we are at my field site in the South Pansberg Mountains, South Africa. When I first moved here in 2011 to work for the Durham University Primate and Predator Project, I started talking to farmers about their problems with leopards taking their livestock. And all they wanted to talk about was brown hyenas taking livestock. And I was like, wait a minute, brown hyenas? Aren't they supposed to be scavengers? Hyena fact number one. Brown hyenas are mostly scavengers. Hunting only contributes to about 5% of its total food intake. Here's the problem. Whether brown hyenas are responsible for killing livestock or not, people believe that they are, and as a result, they are retaliating by killing them. Hyena fact number two. When the brown hyena is mad or threatened, they fluff up all their hair in a process called piloerection. Being persecuted deliberately would make me pretty mad too. For my PhD research, I'll be focusing on relationships between people and hyenas. I want to find out if brown hyenas are responsible for taking livestock, and if so, what we can do about it. I also want to know where these negative perceptions of hyenas have come from, and what researchers can do to change these perceptions in a culturally sensitive way. I will be using camera traps, GPS collars, scat analysis, and interviews with local community members to answer these questions. However, I can't do this alone. Through SciFund Challenge, I am seeking $2,500 to support a research assistant who will help me for one year. I'm trying to paint a very complete picture of the problem, and I'll be running lots of different methods simultaneously, and I need help. The money that you donate will help to contribute towards the assistant's rent and offset their food costs. So let's get a move on and give hyenas the chance they need. Better head back to Durham now. Thanks.